Greetings everybody, this is Elias Plyanakos from YLS Insider and today I have with me the brand new HTC One S, fresh from HTC. I'm gonna go over with you the hardware and software device, specifications, run through through the software, multimedia test with the camera, as well as YouTube, audio test, and in the end, a list of the small things that you may or may not have known about this device that may make or break your decision to go out and buy it. And taking a look at it, it comes in a really cool looking white shell box here. I, it's, does, it's supposed to come with a sleeve, mine didn't, but it will have a sleeve just showing the model number, the name, serial number information, and some brief specifications as always. Uh, when you open it up, you are greeted with the device itself, which is super sexy, we'll get to that in a minute, and there's a reason why it's so super sexy. <laughs> when you open up the rest of the box, you're greeted with you know, recyclable insert, a bunch of our worst enemy literature. I don't think you bought this phone to read, so bye-bye. Comes with a home charger, a little USB adapter there, and a USB data cable. Uh, micro USB it should be. Yeah, of course, but no headphones. Well, you know what? You can see the one or the other. Either you get a great sound accelerator or a processor and no headphones or headphones with a mediocre sound um, or hardware. In this case, you get <laughs> it built in. In this case, Beats by Audio. You see it by right there at the bottom. Beats uh, audio, very clear. You'll see exactly, or hear <laughs> exactly how clear it is. Uh, but let's go over the device real quick. It's very slim. Ah, uh, you know what? It's a good comparison. Here's my BlackBerry Bold 9900. This is a very, very thin device. All, of course, because knowing HTC made of a very durable material, never plastic with these guys. In this case, ceramic, and it's a single piece. If you take a look here at the speaker phone on the back, it's whole, there, are, there are holes that are laser etched into the actual body of the phone, as well as everything else where the camera is and where they the um, headset is as well, all you know, drilled in with lasers or shot through with lasers, <laughs> really cool. Uh, no separate piece as they're usually known for. It's a, it just feels very nice in the hand and it is ceramic, right? So no plastic, no metal, it's something very nice and very lightweight. Uh, on the front, you are greeted with a VGA camera for conference calling or video calling. You do have your back, home and multitask buttons. Status LED light is basically that small little dot there. There's two or three to the left of that. Yeah, it's right there. Very small, but you know, it's right there. On the left, you have a micro USB uh, charging port, nothing else. Bottom, just the microphone. On the right hand side, volume up and volume down. And on the top, the power button and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the back, eight megapixel camera shooting video up to 1080p. Booyah, <laughs> LED flash, and uh, the speakerphone like we mentioned before. Battery, built in. This has an internal battery, non-removable, similar to the iPhone, which can't really go wrong. Uh, if you could see it, it would say it's 1,650 milliamp hours. So that's 1,650 milliamp hours, and that's with a 4.3 inch touchscreen display, QHD, Super AMOLED touchscreen display, very nice. So that's a nice big powerhouse for a very small phone. So I'm glad they made it internal so they have more room to put other cool stuff in there. Uh, so what we're gonna do is time to see how long it takes this guy to turn on. Um, this device does have the quick boot option available to it, which means it'll turn on very quickly. Uh, I disabled that, so let's try to see if we can make this a fair comparison to the other phones I reviewed. Three, two, one. Let's see, did that work? New, no. let's try that again. Three, two, one, there we go. Let's see how long it takes the HTC One S to turn on. Uh, FYI, model number, if you wanna get into formalities, is the Z520M. Yeah, so for you international folks, that's what we're talking about here. All right, he's just turning on. That sounded cool. <laughs> do, 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 do. Well, it comes with 16 gigabytes of internal memory. Now you'll see that some of it's divided, dedicated for application storage and the other rest is left for uh, your stuff. Let's wait for that home screen to come up. Come on, you can do it. Unlock. Let's see. Very tricky, okay. So we're looking at about 42, let's run 43 seconds for this device to turn on without quick boot enabled. So that's a, a very powerful functionality of this device. You can enable it under the power settings. So yeah, with you know stock default settings, 43 seconds for a turn on time, which is cool. Now at the home screen, we're greeted with very nice display. Uh, one thing that I thought in view, <laughs> video reviews on YouTube is that I thought they were using dummy phones. Uh, take a look at it. It kind of looks like it's a fake phone. Like it, the, the image is so clear. It doesn't even look like it's an actual device. It just looks like it's a picture stamped on there on paper. Yeah, rest assured, this is the actual device and it's very nice, very smooth. Let me just try it with one finger here or one thumb. Nice. 
I'm gripping it and I'm not accidentally pressing a capacitive touch button, which is you know something I noticed with the Galaxy S2X. I'm not pressing anything by accident. Very nice. So that, that has a lot to do with only three buttons here, not having four or five, you know, not too congested. Home screen, you know, something you'd come to expect. It is running Ice Cream Sandwich with, with the HTC Sense UI running on top of it. Uh, very smooth. Let me check to see. Yep, when you press the home button, when you're at the home screen, it does a cool zoom in and out effect. Uh, let's see how fast we can do that. And so you have a good idea or a general idea of how smooth it is. Let's do this. Cool. Um, before I move forward, I'm going to change the wallpaper to a live wallpaper just to test its smoothness. I just click and held down on the home screen. It shows me all this stuff. I can add widgets, apps, and all that stuff. Um, actually, I may have to go into settings for that. Yep, most likely. Well, since we're here, this is how you add shortcuts. And it's really cool how this works. Let's say I want to add a shortcut to this home screen or this one. Let's do the home screen, the main one. Uh, I want to add a clock. It throws it over there, adds it, and it stays in the screen in case you want to add more applications. So let's say I want to also add HTC Hub. Throws it there, when I'm done, go home, and there they are. To move them around, click and hold, and you can move them around. Get rid of them, you know, same thing, just drag it off to remove them. Great. So now that we're here, let's go through the menu real quick. And notice it does look different because of ice cream sandwich. Very nice and smooth. This looks very similar, but when you or very familiar, uh, but when you go to something like, ooh, I don't know, settings, if I can find out where that is, um, actually go to frequent, Downloads, you can see all this. I'll put this down so it's not flying everywhere. Let's zoom in a bit. Okay. There we go. Go. Since I've been there before, and let's take a look how this looks. Very clear. You know, it's white, but it's not blinding. You know, something your eyes can totally tolerate at nighttime. <laughs> uh, you do have your general options here. And if you notice, it's a really cool effect to let you know you hit the end of a menu. If you're at the, at the top and you drag down, it's very subtle. But when you're closer to the bottom of the list and it's hit the top, it'll... um cascade, have a cool tile effect. That's how you know you got too far down or too far up. So that's cool. Uh, let's go to sound. Or, oh, okay, let's go to, hmm? yes. <laughs> let's go to volume, set audio volume. Let's see how loud this guy is. Maybe you can hear that. It's very clear, okay. Um, let's try something else here. Uh, sound profiles, you can change again. Normal vibrant sound, you can make your own as well. Okay, let's get back to the home screens. It does come with only the, the bare essentials, you know, like uh, the gallery, car settings, uh, voice dialing, uh, Facebook is pre-installed, YouTube, of course. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at, well, I guess, the camera. Since we're here, I want to show you a really cool feature. You can launch it, launch it by uh, making a shortcut here. So let me load it up from the menu it said. Let's see. Okay, there's the camera. And uh, yeah, eight megapixel camera, very clear. For example, let's just take a picture of my old little Blackberry there, my Crackberry. Does it have touch to focus? Yes, it does, excellent. And let's take a picture, great. And it's safe, very quick. Now here's the thing, really cool feature. Let's say you have motion or you, have a, you wanna take a picture and you wanna make sure the person's smiling. I wanna use my watch here as an example. And if you hold down the shutter button, it takes multiple pictures. You can then go into this, you can see which picture you want, which one, you know, everyone's smiling in, or which one's completely perfect angle. And I have to say that looks absolutely beautiful if you can see that in focus and everything. And once you choose the one you want, that's great. Let's best choose that as the best shot. Do you want to save it and delete the other ones? Yes. And now it'll only have that one picture that I chose that I believe is perfect. And let's go back to the Blackberry picture. Very nice, very cool, very smooth, awesome. Since we're talking about multimedia, let's go to the gallery. And uh, let's go to some of the preloaded photos. Fine, actually, let's see we have some high res photos saved on here already. Really cool effect, there you guys, you see that? Very smooth. And does that whole preview screen where you swipe very quickly, let's do that again. Okay, nice. Now let's go back to the whole live wallpaper thing I wanted to do in the first place, do an ultimate test of how smooth this can be when you're going from screen to screen or whatnot. Let's go, yeah, let's go to, I guess, personalize. Let's change the wallpaper and we want something live. So that means animated. Uh, weather, eh, too subtle. Nexus, you know what? Nexus is classic. Yeah, let's choose Nexus. Meh, there you go. Whee, look at it go. Do, 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 do. Excellent, loaded. Does it have touch input detection? It does. So let me just real quickly. Yeah, it's a 1.5 uh, gigahertz dual core processor, one gigabyte of RAM, so um, it should be able to handle this no problem. Let's try going screen to screen. So I wanna make a whole bunch of particles and then go screen to screen and or zoom in and out and see how smooth it is. All right. 
yeah guys that's amazing <laughs> it's nice and smooth and uh yeah, unlike some other phones, uh, we go all the way to the end of a menu. You see it indicated by that slider down there. It doesn't go back to the other side, the carousel. You have to go back home by swiping or by pressing the home button, and it spins around and takes you there. That's very cool. All right. Okay, so let's get to YouTube, and let's see how video is, audio, all that stuff. And as always, I always choose the 300 movie trailer to do these things. It isn't running on a Wi-Fi connection. This is also a good chance to see the keyboard and portrait and landscape mode. So let me search and show you how this guy looks. You can use voice detection, although wouldn't want you right now. Uh, keyboard is very nice. Uh, I don't know how to describe it here, but using this display of this size, it is very easy to dial uh, or, type, or type, sorry. So let me just go to, I guess, numbers, 300. Nice, and uh, actually since we're here, why not? Let's do this. Quick, brown, fox, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Smooth, baby. Uh, it's nice and big, bigger than the iPhone, smaller than some massive phones, certainly smaller than the Note. So yeah, we can go ahead and say that it's <laughs> just big enough for you to do what you have to do. Wait, 300, this is about that movie trailer. Okay, there we have it. Only 16 million views, come on. The volume all the way up, great. This video itself is not very loud, but I just wanna see, in comparison to my other reviews, how this sounds in comparison, let's go. hear that average sound because the, the video itself on YouTube is average sound but it's louder than some other devices that's for sure <laughs> not too bad the streaming is quick I like this new GUI it's really cool let's see how it rotates very smooth yep does a cool fade in fade out effect while rotating all right and uh, since we're on that note let's go to yeah no not gallery let's go to music and um, another nifty feature it's got here where is music? Music. Applications you have that do have music, like SoundHound, you know, TuneIn Radio. If you have another application that's some, you know, that has to do with music, you can add it to this menu so that all your applications in charge of music streaming or music playback will be in one location. You don't have to search for it. Um, so let's go. These are preloaded on the device. Let me just play them and see how loud they can get. That is very clear. Very sharp. I have to say, it's much le much clearer quality than other ones I'm familiar with. Other devices. Let's go to another one. Cool. Very nice. Okay, loud, clear. Um, of course, you know it's more with more bass, but that is very nice. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, Beats by <laughs> Beats Audio, Beats by Dre. Very nice. Um, I'd rather take this accelerated. Uh, uh, the capability of this device to play this kind of quality audio and buy my own headphones and the other way around. So I'm glad they didn't include headphones and they opted in to get a better sound processor for the device. Wicked. Uh, since we're here, let's go to the browser. Internet, okay. Let's go into the browser and let's go to Engadget.com. See how, this, how quickly this guy renders. .com, great. Wicked. Loaded the mobile version. Can you pinch the zoom in the mobile version? Nope, that's fine. Let's go to desktop. It's just flying by there. Whoa, <laughs> you see that? It's still loading, so let me do this real quick. Zoom in and out while it's still loading, indicated by the green bar at the top. There is no stuttering, this is beautiful. This is like the Galaxy, or the, so the Samsung Note. It's done loading now, and it is just gorgeous, wonderful. Let's rotate it. Great, and I want to rotate while it's rendering. Very snappy. Let's zoom in and oh. look at that. It actually keeps scrolling when you rotate. Great. All right, let's zoom in some more with this picture and text. Of course, the QHD display can't. Uh, it's going to be amazing, as you can expect. Yeah, no artifacts, no no small uh, dithering or anything like that, except for the quality of the images, of course. But it's very nice, very smooth. Uh, yeah, uh, exactly what you come to expect. I mean, there's no excuse nowadays. 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor, it should be smooth. Very nice. Awesome, great.
All right, and now it's time for a knowledge dump. Here's a whole bunch of stuff you may want to know based on other videos and whatnot. So first off, bam, let's go take a look at the um, the version of this phone, you know, the software as well as HTC Sense. You want to make sure it's consistent with what other reviews you see out there. I know some people are saying there are some discrepancies. Well, let's try to sort that out right now. Let's go to about for well, real quick to you, hardware information. You'll see that it's dual core, one gigahertz memory, one gigabytes of memory. It's a da da da, and you have Bluetooth 4.0. Solid. Let's go to software. You'll see it has Android 4.03, which is basically Ice Cream Sandwich with HTC Sense version 4 on top of it. So, yep, this is pretty much what it has on the device uh, at launch. Uh, while we're here, let's go ahead and take a look at what I was mentioned or I hinted at before, uh, which was as applications and storage. Let's go back. It does have 16 gigabytes of internal memory. After formatting, you know, it's more like 14 gigabytes. But if you take a look here, it says internal storage, 2.2 um, gigs, apps taken up, so 2.14 gigabytes available for applications. The rest is for storage. So about two gigs, just a bit over two gigabytes is reserved for uh, applications. The rest, in this case, nine to 10 gigabytes is reserved for, you know, your content, pictures, video, all that stuff. So cool. That's what you have to keep in mind because, you know, when it says 16 gigs of memory, you wanna know how that's allocated. So, you know what, let's go, on, go ahead and move on to the small things, things you may or may not have known about, things that may make or break your decision to go out and buy the HTC One S. Well, first of all, people are wondering what the heck's the difference between this one, the HTC One V and the One X. Well, I'm gonna put a little description right here. Table should have popped up. These are the differences. Right now we're talking about this one right here, you know, the middle one, but yeah, yeah, and yeah. Those are the three of them. Those are the differences. This one's mid-tier, but to be honest, with the specifications and performance, it's fine. HTC One X, although it does have more power, technically, and a larger display, that's for a different market. So if you want something bigger than the iPhone and you want something, you know, not too too large, you know, <laughs> like HTC One or the uh, the Note or, or the Gal or the HTC One X, this would be perfect for you. So HTC One S, great, should be more to the right, not the middle, but that's what it is. Next, what I did appreciate was it does have Beats Audio. It also has TV out using an adapter and. Oops, don't fall asleep on me. <laughs> and um, it, even though it doesn't come with a headset with a packaging, you know, it does have the ability to play back some very clear, very nice audio. It does have an FM radio built into as well. If that's something that you like, if you're riding your bike or if you're on the road, you know, it can handle that as well. And so as it goes without saying, no internal memory, sorry, no expandable memory, no removable battery. So take care of it, charge it while it's off. In the meantime, it'll take care of you if you do so. Uh, but right now, this is an absolutely beautiful device. It was a pleasure playing with it. Very smooth, very nice to use. I can see it being my daily driver, no problem. And I know I say that once in a while too often, but you know what, every few months, a new one comes out and just tops them off. This one feels solid, it doesn't feel light or plastic. It does not feel cheap at all. There's no moving parts that can get damaged, lost or misplaced. You know, it's very easy to use and something you're accustomed with if you're familiar with, you know, Android and ice cream sandwich. A good balance of everything with no hit on performance with animated wallpapers, which as silly as it sounds, some devices do suffer from. Um, and yeah, there's the multitasking, totally skipped my mind here. I'm glad you stuck around this long. <laughs> this multitasking button, when you press it, you will be able to see all your active windows. If you don't want them to be running anymore, swipe up and it kills them. Very smooth, very easy, and you can't complain. And with a one gigabyte of RAM, you should be able to multitask as much as you want to your heart's content. Well, that's pretty much the end of this review. If you like what you saw here today, please like and subscribe. In the meantime, this is Elias Pinacos saying thank you for watching, and until next time, Take care.